Recently, Chinese lithography machines have made two new breakthroughs that shocked the world. Well, the first one is that Harbin Institute of Technology announced the research and development results of a high-speed ultra-precision laser interferometer. Many people claim that this will solve China's problem of lithography machines below 7 nanometers. The second is that a Chinese company has developed SAQP technology, which can achieve a 7 nanometer process without the need for an EUV lithography machine. On this basis, it can also achieve a 5 nanometer process, and it has not yet reached the limit. Well, of course, these news made many Chinese very happy. In the past year, from photonic chips to quantum chips, super-resolution lithography machines, etc., various schemes to bypass the EUV route have repeatedly ignited the Chinese semiconductor industry. But in fact, the research on these paths is still at the level of imagination in the laboratory, and there are still many problems surrounding the manufacturing and process of lithography machines that China has not yet solved. Due to Western sanctions, tools related to next-generation semiconductor technology have been completely blocked to China, and China's semiconductor industry has entered a dark forest. What is dark forest? Well, the concept of the dark forest first appeared in the famous Chinese science fiction novel, The Three-Body Problem. It is used to describe the war strategy between alien civilizations, and now it is also used to describe the state of competition in certain fields. In the field of semiconductors, the dark forest refers to a competitive environment with fierce competition, information asymmetry, and top secret. The core of the reason why China's semiconductor industry has entered the dark forest is that the semiconductor field is so complex and high technical. The upstream includes EDA software, semiconductor equipment, and the midstream is chip design, manufacturing packaging and testing, downstream are all kinds of electronic products, involving a large number of materials, chemical reagents, special gases, equipment and accessories, etc. Unfortunately, any material, equipment or even an accessory in the upstream of the semiconductor industry chain may become a means of restricting competitors. Although China has invested huge funds to develop the semiconductor industry, there is still a gap in talent pool and R&D strength. Besides, it involves complex issues such as supply chain and intellectual property rights. In this industrial chain, China currently mainly plays the role of low-end processing and assembly, and its core technology and high-end manufacturing are still subject to developed countries in the West. Therefore, to be honest, the dark forest is real, and those breakthroughs are more at the laboratory level, and they are still very far away from real breakthroughs. Today, I want to tell you some truths, for example, what is the real status of semiconductors in China? If Chinese lithography machines want to catch up with foreign countries, what is missing? Do the two technological breakthroughs mentioned at the beginning of the video really represent China's 5 nanometers breakthrough? Okay, let's get started. Judging from the development of most industries in China in the past 40 years, in order to pursue speed and scale, technology is often imported through purchase, and basic R&D and innovation are ignored. After the top companies in China have achieved scale and industry status, most companies have no motivation for independent innovation, and it has become a common problem for many Chinese companies that they are big, but not strong. The plight of the chip industry also stems from the past problems caused by the pursuit of speed rather than quality. In fact, the research and development of Chinese lithography machines began as early as the 1950s. But in the 1980s, it was believed that equipment bought from abroad could be used immediately, which was much faster than self-developed equipment. The influence of this concept has led to less and less funds for the research of lithography machines, and finally the research has almost stagnated. Now, it is not so easy to catch up with others in a short period of time. In fact, in my opinion, after decades of stagnant research on lithography machines, China's semiconductor dilemma cannot be resolved in a short while. Of course, China's speed has always been a prominent advantage, which makes one after another breakthroughs. ANS people started to think that China will soon have EUV, but it is not true. In the field of lithography machines, China has been pursuing to bypass the traditional lithography machine technology, starting from the next generation technology, through quantum chips, photonic chips, chip stacking and other paths to achieve corner overtaking. 
However, these technologies are still in the exploratory stage, and there is still a long way to go beyond them. So, what is missing for Chinese lithography machines to catch up with foreign countries? Well, the current problem lies in the accuracy of manufacturing. The three core parts of the lithography machine, light source, objective lens system, and workbench all require top-level lenses and light sources, as well as extreme mechanical precision and composite materials. The first difficulty in the manufacture of advanced lithography machines is the light source of the machine. At present, only Cymer in the United States has mastered the mature manufacturing technology, and other developed countries are purchasing from it. Next is the reflector. At present, only Zeiss, an old German lens manufacturer, can produce multi-layer film mirrors that can meet the requirements of lithography machines. This product is also installed on the latest lithography machine developed by ASML to achieve high reflection efficiency in the EUV band. The composite material is from Japan. At present, most of the photoresists and high-purity chemicals used in chip production are patented products of Japan. These raw materials require extremely high precision and purity. In terms of fine processing, this is Japan's traditional strength and has always been a world leader. In addition, another key issue restricting the development of China's chip industry is industrial software. Chinese IC companies basically use foreign EDA software. How to solve the localization of EDA software is also a big problem. In general, everyone knows the principles of photoresists and photolithography machines used in chip manufacturing, but the key is that the process is very difficult and precise. China still has many shortcomings in upstream and downstream technologies and raw materials. The EUV lithography machine produced by ASML in the Netherlands can reach a precision of 5 nanometers. It requires more than 100,000 parts, and more than 90% of the spare parts need to be imported from multiple countries. Taking the lenses used for EUV as an example, all of them are provided by Zeiss, the world's top lens manufacturer. No company can imitate the various lenses, mirrors and other optical components they produce. Behind the difficulty in achieving this kind of manufacturing precision is also the lack of talents. Huawei CEO Ren Jingfei said, regardless of equipment software and technology, time will help us to solve it. What China really lacks is talent. Lithography machines involve many professional fields and are top-notch scientific and technological products in dozens of fields such as optics, fluid mechanics, mathematics, polymer physics and chemistry, surface physics, precision instruments, and machining. The foundations of these subjects are mathematics, physics and chemistry. In addition, the breakthrough of new technology takes time from the laboratory to mass production, and there are also variables. Harbin Institute of Technology uses high-speed ultra-precision laser interferometer to realize ultra-precise positioning of the wafer, objective lens system, and workbench position during the lithography process. If there is no supporting laser interferometer, the debugging and production of lithography machines and other equipment cannot be carried out. The breakthrough in the core technology of this equipment has added a certain amount of technical reserves for the development of advanced chip manufacturing technology in China, and created certain conditions for the localization of high-end lithography equipment. However, the process problems required for the production of lithography machines are still difficult problems that cannot be overcome in a short time. In addition, judging from the recent SAQP technology, it is actually a quadruple exposure technology. Some people think that if China's DUV lithography machine can cooperate with SAQP technology and advanced, semiconductor materials to build a 7 nanometers chip production line. But in fact, Intel has done this before. Intel encountered a bottleneck at 10 nanometers, so it adopted SAQP technology. However, due to the low yield rate, it has been delayed in mass production. Since then, Intel has not announced the progress of 10 nanometers mass production. There may be other technologies to help China bypass lithography machines, but the concept, patents, and laboratory research are still very far away from mass production and application, and there are still many variables in the middle, which will take a lot of time. Well, thanks for your listening, and please be free to put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.